An interface is a connection between two circuits at which the signal levels may be observed or specified. In this regard, an important consideration is the maximum signal levels that can be transferred across a given interface. This section contains the maximum voltage, current, and power available at an interface given a fixed source and adjustable load. So here, let's just treat, for example, that we want to maximize the voltage. Well, in this case, in order to maximize the voltage, we see that RL has to be large when we see that this connection is a series connection and we can use the voltage divider. In other words, V delivered is equal to RL divided by RT plus RL times VT, our Thevenin in voltage and RT is our Thevenin in resistance and RL is our load. Now, as RL approaches a very large number, we see that RL dominates RT. And therefore, we have V equals VT, where we deliver the maximum voltage across RL as RL approaches infinity. Well, what about I max in terms of the current delivering? Well, we have I when it's connected in series as shown. Then we have VT divided by R T plus R L. Well, in order to maximize the current, and R L is adjustable, we can see that this will be maximized when R L approaches zero. When R L approaches zero. And in this case, we have V T all over R T, where we maximize the current. Now suppose I want to maximize the power. Well we can think of this. If I want to maximize the power we know that the power is equal to I times V. Now if, I if RL is increased or bigger than RT then we're delivering more voltage. However at the same time you can see here when I increase RL I decrease I which not necessarily means that I maximize the power. So here intuitively we can say that in order to maximize the power is that we need to maximize the current and the need to maximize the voltage and that implies and we'll see analytically we're just doing an intuitive approach that RT is equal to RL and that's where we maximize the power associated with this circuit. So we see that to maximize I max this has to be a short circuit and we want to maximize V max this has to be a open circuit and to maximize the power we have to maximize both I and V well, if we maximize V, RL is bigger, but that decreases I. If we want to max I, we decrease RL, but that decreases V. So there's some place in between zero and infinity. And that something in between is the RL is equal to RT, in which we'll see next. When RT is equal to RL, we say that the load and the source are match. So to get P max, we use these two expressions, V and I, given here and here. When we do that, P equals V times I, that yields RL times VT all over RT plus RL, that came from the voltage divider. And when we short the circuit at the load, we have VT RT plus RL and that yields RL VT squared all over RL plus RT squared. And to maximize it, we take the derivative of P with respect to RL and set that equal to zero. Okay, we note that the 
numerator is a function of RL as well as the denominator which is a function of RL so looking at our handy dandy table of derivatives we take the derivative with respect to RL u over v which turns out just to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared and we set the numerator equal to zero since we want to maximize our power so here v is just simply RL plus RT quantity squared derivative of the numerator derivative of RL is just one minus u which is just RL and derivative of the denominator is just 2RL plus RT as shown here all that multiplied by VT squared which doesn't play a major role because we're going to set the resistors right here this expression the resistor expression equal to zero and just to note that the denominator doesn't play a role either but we note that RL plus RT is raised to the fourth power because of the V squared here now we just simplify the numerator by multiplying it out and then combining terms so that's just RL squared plus 2RL RT plus RT squared minus 2RL RT minus 2RL squared multiplying the, the last two terms came from this expression here when you multiply it out so we see that the 2RL RT cancels and then we're left with RL squared minus 2RL squared so we have RT squared minus RL squared is equal and we note that numerator is set equal to 0 that implies that RL is equal to RT where we take the positive since we only have positive resistance so RL is equal to RT and again what this does when RL is equal to RT we maximize the power delivered to the load so now we take our result where RL is equal to RT and substitute in our maximum power equation and that yields P max when we substitute RL for RT here we get RT VT squared over RL plus RT squared and that just yields VT squared RL plus RT is just 2RT which is 4RT squared which cancels out with the RT in the numerator, one of the RTs, and we're left 4 over RT. Now, we note our open cir circuit voltage is VOC, and that our open circuit current is VT over RC. In other words, this is VT, rewrite this as VT over RT we'll put a 2 here and a 2 here and that's just VOC over 2 and this is VT over RT is just our short circuit so it's ISC over 2 so that's our expression for maximizing our power to summarize at an interface with a fixed source the maximum available voltage is when the voltage is open circuited or RL is equal to affinity and the maximum available current is the short circuit current when RL is equal to zero and finally the maximum available power is the product of one half of the open circuit voltage and one half of the short circuit current as shown here